Both Opus Clip and CapCut promise to make viral YouTube shorts for you from your long videos. But which creates the best shorts in the fastest time? I've tested out both and I'm going to show you why one is better than the other. So we'll look at what Opus Clip can do first. I'll pop the link to the long video we're going to cut into shorts here. Opus gives us the option to choose which length of clips we want created, all the way from less than 30 seconds to between 10 to 15 minute long. And finally, we get given the option to type in keywords that we want the AI to focus on when it's looking for moments to turn into clips. So we'll type a few in as it's a Donald Trump interview and then press get clips. That Opus clip came back with 29 YouTube shorts from that original long form video. Obviously, 29 is just a number. And what's important is how useful each of these shorts are. Some of them might be perfect moments that are ready to go straight onto YouTube, while others might not be moments worth turning into a short at all. So I'll talk on how many of these clips are usable at the end of this video when we're doing the overview. But for now, let's look at the customization. So how well you can go in and enhance each of these clips. So when we go into the edit view for any clip, we can press play. Here. Inflation would have never happened. We got the timeline down here so we can quickly skip to any moment we have the transcription of the video so what was said in the video has been turned into text so we can quickly see what's included if we want we can add more of the original video into the clip by pressing this add section button and either selecting earlier moments from the video or later moments from the video highlighting the parts we want added and pressing this add button down here but i'm going to leave that for now we can switch the layout over here, switching from vertical video to square video to horizontal 16 by 9. We can change the captions. So I'm going to change that to just one line per page rather than two or three that we had before. I'm going to position it in the middle, leave the animation as it is. But I'm going to change the amplified word color to red and we'll change the normal font color to white. If we wanted to, we could upload and add like our brand or our company logo on top of the clip. And finally, we can even add B-roll onto our clip. This is what really impresses me, AI generated B-roll. If I press this button, we'll see that the AI has found a moment where it thinks B-roll would be perfect to add onto the clip. So it's added this tank here. If we wanted to, we can move this B-roll to a different part of the timeline. And once we've clicked it, you can see that we can also see what prompt was used to generate that B-roll. And if we don't like it, we can change it to a different prompt. So I'll just change it to this. We're going to press regenerate. And after a few seconds, we get these new options that we can choose from. So if I preferred this, I could click this and the B-roll has switched to that new image. Once we've tweaked our YouTube shorts, we can then either press this button to export it to Adobe Premiere to make further edits. We can download it or we can click here to schedule it straight onto our social media. So that's exactly how you create shorts from long videos in Opus Clip. But what about in CapCut? Well, to start, you'll see that we can't link to videos from YouTube and other websites like we could on CapCut. We either have to find a video on our own Google Drive, Dropbox, or Microsoft Space, or upload a video directly from our machine. Once we've uploaded our video to CapCut and we scroll down, You'll see that we can choose how long we want our clips to be here too, but we don't get as many options as an Opus clip. We just get the option of less than 60 seconds to between 90 seconds to three minutes. So no less than 30 seconds option and no option up to 15 minutes long in CapCut. So when the CapCut AI has done its thing, it's given me 20 YouTube shorts from that Donald Trump long interview compared to the 29 that Opus clip gave me. So less than opus clip but like i said it's the quality of these clips that count so i'll let you know how many of these 20 clips were actually usable at the end of the video when i talk about how many of the opus clip youtube shorts were usable as well we can go into each youtube short to edit it and you'll see at first we only get given the option to change the style of the captions in CapCut. but if we want to edit each youtube short more we can just press this edit more button up here and we're taken to this screen so I can play this short quickly here. I don't know how many, but it was a lot. So you'll see the video plays up here and I can scroll through the video on the timeline down here, just like I could in Opus Clip. I can change the layout size up here to four by three and square like I could in Opus Clip. But I can actually choose a few more sizes here. So two by one and 
three by four. So that's cool. And if we look over to the left here, there's a ton of things I can do and add. So I can upload footage of myself to add into the clip. I can add some templated footage here if I wanted to. I can add elements, so some stock videos, some stock photos, stickers. Let's add some snow here. Yeah, I can add some snow if I want to. I can add some backing music, add some text. So I couldn't do this in Opus Clip, but here I could add a title if I wanted to. We can add some effects. So how about we add a black flash here? Press play so you can see what that looks like. This TikTok. Absolutely. 120 million views on the way. Absolutely. So a ton of effects we can add, transitions, we can do filters to make people look better. So all this stuff is a lot more similar to the, what you get in like phone apps if you're going to add filters and effects to um, like clips in like TikTok. And I think some of this stuff is useful, like it might be good to be able to add like background music onto your short or add text like this title I put here. But a ton of this stuff just doesn't seem useful at all like, i'm never going to really need to add like a glow effect to one of my shorts or one of these like kooky transitions and on top of that i haven't seen an option inside caps cut to add ai b-roll like we saw inside opus clip but when you're ready to publish your youtube short to social media just like an opus clip looks like you can share straight to your social media account and i can also click this schedule link here to be able to choose a date in the future that I want to be able to post this YouTube short, just like I could on Opus Clip. So now you've seen how the process works with both CapCut and Opus Clip, you're ready to hear which is the fastest and best AI for creating YouTube shorts. Where both platforms took around the same time to convert the long form video into shorts, Opus Clip took nine minutes and CapCut 11, so pretty similar. The number of usable clips was definitely different. I got 18 usable YouTube shorts from Opus Clip, whereas CapCut only gave me 14. Every single YouTube short that can be created from the original long form video is obviously an opportunity to get more views. So even just those four extra usable YouTube shorts that Opus Clip gave us here is really important. Looking at price, Opus Clip is $9.50 per month whereas CapCut is slightly higher at $10.99 per month. But in its defense, CapCut has a ton more features outside of just making YouTube shorts. It's really an all-in-one video editing system. So that higher price tag isn't such a big deal here. And most importantly, looking at the satisfaction you get using both platforms. So this is how easy it is to use each platform and to get the results you want. I'm going to give CapCut three stars here for being able to give us YouTube shorts from long form videos, whereas Opus Clip is getting the five stars from me. CapCut didn't give me the option to enter keywords when I was creating my shorts to kind of target the AI on the topics I wanted. I couldn't add AI B-roll to my YouTube shorts in CapCut. Every YouTube short it gave me had a different design. And if I wanted them all to have the same design, I'd have to go into every YouTube short individually and change it manually. And most importantly, CapCut just felt a little bit clunky, a little bit sluggish when I was using it, like slower to do things than the Opus Clip interface. Like I said, if you're looking to do a ton of other video stuff, so converting text to speech, removing backgrounds from people in videos, scaling video to 4K, all of those cool features, CapCut is probably the tool for you. But if you're just looking for an AI to turn your long form videos into YouTube shorts that doesn't focus on anything else and aims to perfect that one feature, Opus Clip, in my opinion, is the way to go. If you want an Opus Clip free trial or even a CapCut free trial, there's links to those in the description below this video. If you want to bulk create over a thousand YouTube shorts in around 10 minutes, check out this video on Opus Clip next and how I figured out how you can do that. And if you're looking to use AI tools to be more consistent, subscribe to this channel. That's what I focus on on this channel. Peace out.